Good morning and good afternoon, math classes, and welcome to this lesson on, um, well, multiplying integers, multiplying integers, and uh, we'll also kind of start looking at uh, dividing integers as well. Uh, so basically what we have here is our notes, right? Now, if I put something in my notes, you should be putting something in your notes, just as if we were in class, okay, because there's important information. In other words, if I underline something, you should underline it, and uh, so on and so forth. And we'll be seeing uh, that here in real time as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use some freehand tools and such, right, and try to keep the colors consistent with what we have going on our notes. So I have some positives here, right? So we're going to go there and say, so real quickly, we had a lot of different rules when we were dealing with um, uh adding and subtracting integers, okay, in positive and negative numbers. But multiplying and dividing is really, really simple, okay? So think for a moment for to yourself, right? Positive people, right? Positive people are very uplifting and they're always happy for the most part. And then you got negative people and negative people tend to be maybe uh, moody and down, right? So um, I'm going to underline the positive here in blue, and then I'm going to underline, let's see if I can get a red. That's close enough to red. Let's go to this one for red. All right, for negative, okay? And hope oh, they changed them both, but it is what it is. Okay, so uh, we have those there. All right, so with that in mind, um, let's see here. So anytime that we have a positive times a positive number, we're always going to yield a positive number. You've been doing that since you've been doing multiplication tables at whatever grade level you started, third or fourth grade or whatever grade it was, right? And we know this, right? Positive six times positive two, you know, is going to always be positive 12. So positive times a positive is always positive. Same thing with division, all right? Positive 12 divided by positive two is six or six times two is 12, 12 divided by two is six. We know that, okay? Now, we could take this a step further, okay? Let me, let me do this and see if it'll take it this time around. I'm gonna do blue, so hit here. So we're gonna hit positive and positive are gonna be positive always, okay? I'm gonna click away. And we're good. Now I'm going to go to red. And negative people and other negative people, they get along. All right. So positive people get along with positive people. Negative people, you know, they get along with other negative people. You know, um, so that's how their friends work for some reason. Again, it's a silly analogy, but we're going to figure it out here in a minute. All right. So anytime that you have a negative times a negative, well, guess what? You are also going to get a positive. Always, 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 okay? So a negative times a negative is always positive, okay? So example, if I had negative six times negative two, I'm gonna get positive 12. Negative 12 divided by negative two is positive six, all right? So again, make this very clear, a negative, and a negative is always positive, and a positive and a positive is always positive. However, any time that you have a negative and a positive number being multiplied or divided, okay, all right, they want to be negative, okay? So you can think of it as, uh, let's see here, we're in red still, so negative people, right, don't always get along. So we're going to get negative numbers, right? All right, let me click away real fast. And we're good there. I'm going to delete that. And now we're going to change to blue. And we're going to talk about, ooh, it took away the whole thing. Anyways, that's fine. It is what it is. All right, positive and negative people do not get along. They're always going to be negative. All right, so if I have negative times a positive, I'm always going to get a negative number. So negative 6 times 2 is going to be negative 12. 
Negative 12 divided by 2 is going to be negative 6. And it works the other way around as well, okay? 6 times negative 2 is going to be negative 12, or 12 times negative 2 is going to be 6. So really, really simple rules when you really think about it, all right? If I have two of the same, it's going to be positive. If I have one of the same and one is different, it's going to be negative, okay? So let's look at a couple of these examples together, and I'm going to switch to a text box, all right? We should all know what five, 56 divided by 7 is, all of us, right? And we know that answer is a simple 8, okay? But now we have over here negative 9 times negative 3. Well, looking at the rules here, all right, I know that it's going to be positive. A negative and negative is always going to be a positive. So that answer is going to be 27. All right, and I can keep on doing this. Again, a negative times a negative is always going to be positive. So in this case, um, 8 times 9 we know is 72. Okay, and then, of course, we have something new here. Now we have a positive and a negative. Remember, positive and negative doesn't get along, so the answer is going to be negative, okay? And then we have negative 63, because 9 times 7 is 63. Pretty simple, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you that you take a quick pause, okay? And then I'm going to fill these in, okay? And then we'll see if we got the basic concept here. So in other words, you hit pause, fill out the rest of these ones on your own, and then come back and check to see if you got the right answer. All right, so there's our pause and let's get our answers. Boom, there are your answers. So go ahead and check to make sure that you got the right ones. Go ahead and hit the pause button and check to see if you are correct. So that should pretty much cover it for this video. Just remember that a positive and a positive is gonna be a positive. A negative times a negative or a negative divided by a negative is always going to be positive, but a positive and negative are always going to be negative. All righty. And that should cover you for this video. So go ahead and do the associated lesson, multiplying integers on the train and uh, make sure that is turned in and completed for the day.